Hey everyone, in this problem we're going to find the equation of the plane. So uh, we're given some information, we're told that the plane passes through these two points, and we're told that the plane is perpendicular to this plane, so solution. So before we start working through it and thinking about it, let me just go ahead and write down the equation of the plane. So the equation of a plane is a times x minus x1 plus b times y minus y1 plus c times z minus z1. That's all equal to zero. So that's the equation of a plane. Okay, so x1, y1, z1, that's always a point on our plane. And then a, b, c, that's going to be our normal vector. So that's what we need. So we, have, we already have the points. We just need the normal vector. So we're given two points on the plane. So given two points, we can always find a parallel vector. So let's go ahead and do that first, and then we'll read this. So let's write down our parallel vector that we have. So 3 minus 3. I'm going to skip some steps here. No, I won't. 3 minus 3. 4 minus 1, and then 1 minus negative 7. So what are we doing? We're finding a parallel vector y. Um, we'll need it. And plus, I mean, whenever you're given two points, you probably have to find a parallel vector. So this is 0, 3, and then 1 plus 7 is 8. So this vector is parallel to our plane. Okay. Now we're told that our plane is perpendicular to this plane. So we have to think about that, right? So our plane is perpendicular to this plane, right? This vector here, 8, 9, 3, this is the normal vector for this plane, right? This vector is perpendicular to this plane. So our plane is perpendicular to this plane. This vector is perpendicular to this plane. Therefore, our plane is parallel to this vector. Again, our plane is perp to this guy. This vector is perp to this guy. Therefore, our plane is parallel to this. Think, think of the board as, as um, this plane. If the board is this plane, our plane is perp to it. This vector is perp to it. Oh, look, they're parallel. Again, if, the, if this board is this plane here, then our plane is perp. This vector is perp. Oh, look, they're parallel. So this vector is parallel to our plane. So we have another vector. I'll call it u. Just give it a name. Uh, 893. And this is also parallel to our plane. We have two vectors that are parallel to our plane, so we can find the cross product to find a vector that is normal to our plane, which is what we need, which is our, which is our n, which I didn't write it down. But n is abc. But that's our normal vector. So we'll take the cross product of these two, that'll give us n, plug everything in, and we're done. So let's do it. Let's do v cross u. Now it doesn't matter which order you do it in, you will get a different answer for the cross product, but at the end, uh, you'll get the same answer. So first you write down ijk, put the little hats, sometimes I forget the hats, guilty. And then v is 0, 3, 8, so 0, 3, 8, you always write that one down first, and then u is 8, 9, 3. And when you're doing the cross product, it's always uh, plus minus plus, so it's i hat, then you cross these out, so 3, 8, 3, 8, 9, 3, 3, 8, 9, 3, so 3, 8, 9, 3, and minus j hat. It's always plus minus plus. You cross these out, so 0, 8, 8, 3. So 0, 8, 8, 3. Right, you cross the corresponding row and column, then boom, and then k hat, so plus, so plus, k hat, 0, 3, 8, 9. So 0, 3, 8, 9, 0, 3, 8, 9. Like a phone number, 0, 3, 8, 9. Let's check that. So i hat, oh, looks okay. j hat, looks okay. k hat, looks okay. Okay. All right, now we just work it out. So you multiply this times this, and you subtract this times this. So it'll be i hat 9 minus 8 times 9 is 72, some big numbers here, minus j hat, that's going to be 0 minus 64, right? Because 0 times 3 is 3, 8 times 8 is 64, and then um, 0 times 9 is 0, so plus k hat 0 minus 24, tough problem. So I'm going to write it again over here, so v cross u. So let's see, 9 minus 72, that's going to be uh, s negative 63, negative 63, yeah, negative 63 i hat, cool, it's hard math, a plus 64 j hat, big numbers, feels really wrong, but hopefully it's not minus 24 k hat. No, it's not wrong, this is totally correct. Um, so there is... Um, our normal vector is so a negative 63, 64, negative 24. Really, really big numbers. That's our n. That's our n. 
So to finish, we'll just plug everything in, in, in here. So I'm going to erase this. And so this is our A, this is our B, this is our C. So it'll be negative 63. Uh, and then let's use this point here, x1, y1, z1. You can use any of these, you get the same answer. So uh, x minus 3. And then B is 64, so plus 64. That'll be y minus 4, right, y minus 4. And then C is negative 24, so negative 24, and then Z minus 1. And then it's equal to 0. And those are really big numbers, um, so we'll just, we'll just stop there. So I hope that made sense.